All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to bring your vocals from this. She like OMG, you so fucking cool. I'm a f to this. She like OMG, you so fucking cool. I'm a fucker then I leave. She say you so rude. I always been side three, never three or two. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who I am, I go by Q. I'm a vocal engineer, producer, everything in between. And I basically just make videos on how to make your vocals and how to get your producing better. And before we get started and I actually break down this preset, the preset is available at quintababa.com. It looks like this. You grab that if you want or you can just build it in the video. It's up to you, but it definitely greatly helps support the channel. And as always, if you're enjoying this video at any time, if you could hit that like button for me, and also you might as well just go down and subscribe to stay tuned for more and more content. That's gonna be coming a lot more frequently. And one last thing, if you guys could do me another favor and follow me on Instagram, it's just a great spot for you guys to stay up to date with my stuff. Yeah, let's uh let's learn how to sound like Autumn. All right, so before we even get started, I'm just gonna play this and show you guys what I got down. So, so all we have here is the main vocal, the ad-lib track, and then the reverb bus and the delay bus, which I'm gonna show you guys how to use later after we actually hear how this sounds so here is the whole track she like omg you so fucking cool i'm a fucker then i leave she say you so rude i always been side three never three or two he said we got beef turn that shit to fool he said we got beef make a fucking move young with stella the way i get in my groove before we actually do break it down, I'm going to show you guys how to use the preset if you actually download it. So if you do download it, you're getting these four files right here. You got your main track, your ad libs, uh, your reverb bus, and your delay bus. And all you got to do to use these is go wherever you download it. For example, mine is on my desktop. So I'm going to go into FL Studio, open up my Finder window. It's the same on Mac and Windows, but then you're going to go to, like I said, whichever folder. Mine's at the desktop right now. And you'll just go to your mixer track, and you're going to find your main vocal. Your ad lib, reverb, and then delay. And then you have it all set up just like how mine is. The only other thing you'll have to do is go to your main vocal, click this button and this button. So you now have reverb and delay. But for your main vocal, you're going to bring it down to, let's see, I had it at 40%. So we're going to, if you go up here in the top right corner or top left corner, you can see what percent you're going to. But we're going to bring it down to 40%. And then for the delay, we had it at 28%. So we're going to go to this knob right here for the delay bus and bring it down to 28. And for the ad lib, I had the reverb at 58 and delay at 43. We're going to do the same thing. Just click this button. And 53. Or what was it? 58, 43. 58 and 43. These don't have to be perfectly accurate, but you just want them somewhere close. So, and then you are all set up to use this. And if you want to hear yourself, all you got to do is set your input. You go, you do that by clicking this button right here. Go to input one or whatever your mic is. And you should be able to hear yourself right away. So we'll turn that off. And you can do that for the ad lib track as well. But here we go. I'm going to show you guys how I basically set this up to record too. So basically, I'm just going to scroll down. So it looks like nothing's here, but we're going to duplicate this over. So you'd have your beat right here. And you want to go back to your mixer. And as you can see, I set up this record track, which is just a track that's completely blank. And that's what actually records my vocals. And I want my vocals coming in completely dry because then we route it over to either the main or the ad lib track. And those, and that initial recording of the vocal has no effects on it. So all you got to do to make a record track is set your input. Go, go to, to this, this button, button right here and turn this monitor, monitor external, external input, input off. That's so you don't hear yourself on this track. And then I always dock mine to the left. You do that by going to right click, dock to left or right. And then you always want to make sure that this button is on. Then you're also going to go into your track settings right here, and you do that by right-clicking, go to track mode, and you could assign it to that record track that we just made. I'll just assign it to the other record track that I have. Actually, it already is, so let's see. Mixture track 13. So we're going to right-click track mode, audio track, mixture track 13, and as you can see, you get all your controls right here. So you can set the record enable button. You can turn on the external input if you want to hear it. And you can set your input right here as well. So this is a new FL Studio update. You guys might not all have this, but I recommend you get the new update because it's really nice. Yeah, that's how you do that. And then you would just set it with your, uh, you just set some other tracks with your main vocal and your ad lib track as well. We go to our, I already did it, but go to our main and ad lib. And now you have these set up as well. Just make sure you don't have the record button on for these two. Because once you go to record, if you do, as you can see, it records both. But we only want this recording track. So we'll turn that off. 
All right, so let's go over how I actually made this preset. I'm just going to do the main track because the ad lib is basically the same thing, but I just uh, adjusted a few settings on there. So I started out with auto tune. You could either use Fruity Pitcher if you do not have auto tune, but this is just a better version of the auto tune that's built in FL Studio. And if you have AutoTune Pro, one thing you want to make sure is you have used low latency on. We have the key set to B flat minor, retune speed all the way up, humanize at 18. Then we went into the fruity limiter, and I had this off just because it was given a little bit of an issue. But this is just a noise gate, so we have these settings right here. Then our first EQ, basically cutting out that low end, kind of mellowing out these mids, and pulling up those highs a lot, because in the song, his high end is just very high. And obviously we have one little filter sweep that I did pulling out some of that bad sound, a little harshness in the microphone. And we have our first compressor. The goal with this first compressor is just to make the sound as even as possible. Basically they're taking out all the dynamics in the vocal. And then I'm also bringing up the gain because with that threshold being down here, it does take away some volume from the vocal. And we have the attack and release kind of set at a medium point. But they're both the same just because it helps. It doesn't make the vocal too aggressive and it doesn't make it like too flat. We go into a fruity limiter, and I'm just using the compression setting right here. Again, we have the attack and release pretty much right at the same level. And then we have the ratio set to 3 to 1. A little bit of a knee in the threshold down at 26.5. So this is doing a lot of compression. As you can see, if I play this, you're going to see that. You're going to see a little visual right here that shows how much it's compressing, and it's a lot. She like OMG. So fucking cool. Yeah, so then we move on to our split band de-esser. de basically just removes any of that harsh sound, any sibilance, so every time you're going s any of that, like, any S's and stuff like that. Then a goaded FL Studio stock plug-in, that sound goodizer. I mean, I feel like everyone uses this. It's basically a little bit of a compressor and some, I believe, warm saturation. Not exactly sure what it does, but it sounds good. And then a fruity flangus, and we just have the mix knob down a little bit, but it's actually at the default settings, and that is it, other than the reverb and the delay, but the reverb is just on this bus. And the reason we bust it out is because you get more control over the reverb, control how much of the signal is going into here, and you could also add like a bunch more plugins on here. So, for example, if you wanted to widen it out, you could widen just the reverb sound. So if we wanted to add like a stereo shaper and put it on stereo eyes, now our reverb is going to be like way stereo. If we can notice. She like OMG. Do so fucking cool. Yeah, so the reverb is obviously way more in that stereo field. And same thing with the delay bus. The delay is actually just a fourth note delay and the level's really low and then a little bit of a cutoff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So now I'm just going to show you guys what the vocal sounds like live. We do this at the end of all my videos, but I'm just going to turn the preset on and do like a little freestyle. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this one. And peace out. Enjoy this little freestyle. Make a fucking move Young wig, Stella, the way I get in my groove I steady making fool You ain't got no tools I don't know why you got beef I don't even make the rules You keep all these tools I just fight with fists I ain't got no problems You just wanna see this risk Yeah, these diamonds busting hard Double up my profits I just made this fucking money I just go and hit that bar I just got this money I just got this green I'm just counting letters Like my name is Mr. I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck, double up my cup